Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Venue 2 Plus and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, uh, you can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. First way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default setting, uh, settings rather, and the second way is to do it through the settings once the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process, then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Now let's continue with the pairing. So first thing you will need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Keep holding it until you see the Garmin logo uh, on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait. And the watch turned on and my watch was uh, reset to the factory default settings, so that's why I see the hello message on the screen. So if your watch is brand new or it's been reset, you will see the uh, hello message on the screen. And if you see it, tap on the screen to continue, basically. It will open the list of languages and you can scroll through this list, find the language you would like to use on your watch. And once you find that language, um, tap on it to select it. And as you can see now, we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so let's tap on the check mark to confirm and it will open the Basically, the watch will enter the pairing mode and you will see the QR code on the screen. You can scan the QR code to uh, get directed to the app you need to install to pair the watch with your phone. I'm just gonna open the Play Store and I'm gonna find the app there. But if you want to, you can scan the QR code. It's gonna be a little bit uh, faster, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go to the phone, make sure we have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once we do, we can open the Play Store. In the Play Store, you can tap on search and type in uh, Garmin uh, Connect and then tap on search. And you should see this application Garmin Connect by Garmin with this icon. Tap on the install button to install the app. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account button and basically make a new one and log in. If you have an account, tap on sign in. You can also tap on advanced settings and I believe you can uh, change the region and stuff like that right here. Okay, I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap next, and now we can enter the email and password to log in. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, tap on next to log in. And after you log in and there is no watches connected to your account, uh, your app will start automatically searching for the nearby uh, devices. But before that, you need to allow the access. So basically we need to allow the uh, permission for the connect to determine to relieve the position of the nearby devices. So you need to allow this permission and the app will start looking for the nearby devices. As you can see, my watch uh, left the pairing mode, as you can see, it's asking me if I want to pair with a phone. So if the app doesn't detect your watch, you can tap on check mark to re-enter the pairing mode and it, then it should detect your watch. If it doesn't, you can also tap, uh, there will be this button that tells you to browse through the list of watches and you can find your watch on the list and basically select it from there. Okay, so it detected our watch. We can tap on connect it allow we need to enter the pin from the watch and tap on ok then tap on next and here uh, we can uh, basically select a watch as a primary wearable if the watch you're pairing with it's not the first watch you have paired to your account. Basically, you've been asked if you want to use it as a primary watch. I want to do it, so I'm going to tap on yes. And here we can set up the bedtime. This is the time when you go to sleep and when you wake up. This is useful if you want to use do not disturb mode during sleep. sleep. So basically, it will mute all of your notifications and stuff like that when you're sleeping. And to set it up, you tap on the box next below the bedtime. You set the bedtime by swiping up and down then the wake time by swiping up and down on hours and minutes and once you're done uh, you can tap on next and if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode during sleeping tap on yes if you want to turn it off tap on no 
Here you can select the preferred wrist, then tap on next. Then we can set the goals for like running, cycling, I mean running steps, so steps, calories, uh, fluid intake and stuff like that. Uh, to set the goals, tap on edit goals. If you want to keep them default, tap on keep default goals. I'm gonna show you how to edit the goals, so let's tap on edit goals. And here we can uh, ch change to custom and then uh, adjust the amount of stuff we want to do. For example, floors, floors climbed, uh, fluid in intake and stuff like that. And once you've done, tap on next. And here we have notifications. Uh, permissions. So if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to allow the notification access. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. But if you want to for, for notifications to work, to tap, tap on allow, tap on allow. Then we have the no location access. This is useful if you want to track your activities like running, cycling and stuff like that on the map. Um, if you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. If you want to use this feature, tap on allow. It will redirect you to here. You can tap on permissions, tap on uh, location, and then allow while using the app or allow all the time and go back. <laughs> Next, we have calendar access. You can allow it or deny it. This is useful if you want to manage events and stuff like that on your watch. Next, we have colog access. This is useful if you want to see the notifications about calls on your Watch, so if somebody calls you, it will display who's calling you and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can skip it, of course. I'm gonna allow it. Next, we have phone call access. Again, it's for phone calls. If you want to use it, allow the permission. If you don't care, uh, deny it. And the messages. If you want to see the notifications about messages, if you want to use this feature, allow the permission. If you don't care, uh, deny it. Now tap on sync now. Then finish. And here we can learn about our watch. You can basically see the tutorial how to use the watch. I'm gonna tap on skip, but if you want to go through it, you can tap on next. Then we can finish. And we have a, a main page of the app. And on it, you probably will see your watch right here at the top, but you can also tap on more uh, Garmin devices and here you should see your venue 2 plus on the list of devices and you can tap on it to check it right here. Okay, so that's how you pair for the setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect the watch from the phone. Okay, and to enter the pairing mode through the settings on your watch, once it's already been set up, you will need to uh, open the settings. To do it, uh, press and hold the uh, lower button. Once the settings open, scroll down, find the settings icon, tap on it. Here, scroll down and find the connectivity. Once you find it, tap on it, tap on phone, scroll down and tap on pair phone and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Then download and install the app or open the app in the app. Uh, if you downloaded it, you will need to log in and the app will start searching for the nearby devices. If you're already logged in, tap on more, tap on Garmin devices and tap on add device. And it should detect your watch, tap on connected, allow, and basically the rest is the same. So basically follow the same steps as we did before. So seven, Nine nine two point uh, two eight zero, and then you will need to deal with the sleep time goals. If the, you install the app for the first time, you will need to deal with the permissions and stuff like that. So basically the same stuff as we did for at the, uh, when we are pairing through the setup process first time.
Okay, and let's skip the tutorial, tap on finish. And we have a watch here, up here, and we can tap on more, tap on the garment devices, and you should see it right here, as you can see. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch for uh, with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.